Hey guys, so um, I think I might be onto something. Um, I just decided to document it and see how it goes. So we have here our traditional, this is a RSX thermostat. Um, as we all know, um, we have the swivel one. This is a copycat of the K-Tune one. But nonetheless, it's the same same style, same construction, same design, same everything. Uh, and then here we have the thermostat itself. Um, and on this box, I'm going to talk about it a little bit more. And then this O-ring is part of um, here, goes inside. So what I'm trying to get at is these are known for being really infamously uh, not reliable. And from experience, I know that um, these little MPT fittings, sorry, um, they start leaking. As you can see, I have a lot of Teflon in there. And then also if I put it in uh, one of the temp sensors in there and I screwed it too tight inside and it actually, uh, I don't know if it went from here or the actual thermostat itself, but it almost pencil sharpen itself. You can tell it looked like it was just almost like pencil sharpening, like the same thing when you when you sharpen a pencil. Um, so it was, it was just horrible, but I'm trying to see if I can give it a second attempt on it being reliable since I am switching to the uh, CSFM and uh, it's really tight up there to put a hose so um, I'm definitely gonna not have to run a AN fitting on that section here and this will allow me to do that um, and I don't want to buy uh, the V2 which it's the the, the design is pretty much based off of this but with this design effect swivel um, you get to use you get to use the, the regular K series, the one that the RSX, CRV, you know, etc. run um, onto that. And this one opens up at 172, um, I believe 170. So, and then we have here, which is the thermostat that comes for this style design. It goes in there. So this one's kind of, kind of weird. So um, from reading, I believe it said it was a stand, stand thermostat type. That's the type of design that it uses to um, utilize on this housing that they have here. Uh, this one was so faulty, like it was insanely faulty. Our car will overheat, then it'll run normal, and then overheat. Luckily, uh, I've read of people saying that they run really cool. I've never had that, uh, to be honest, experience. It was always um, in between, and then it'll go hot. And then luckily, it got me through um, to do my tuning when I did my... Um, remote or e-tuning uh, yeah my e-tuning so it got me by and then this is an o-ring as well when i did remove it it was just weird because it goes like this and then there's a, a retainer clamp that goes in there but you have obviously this little o-ring that goes on the edge of the thermostat but when i had the retainer clip i, I for some reason i got stuck to the point where i couldn't take it off and um this is how the as you can tell the o-ring that sits in this lip right here got deteriorated and broke so i just took it off and then went back to this and yeah and then i ended up buying another replacement of this which is in the car right now but i had another roadblock being that i am you know i swapped to a full size and literally the outlet and this one the outlet and the thermostat sits right like this literally and it's so hard to have a hose that bends you know in that tight compartment so i'm just gonna you know make it easier on me and go ahead and get an a fitting so what i'm coming up with this video is um i'm gonna try this out so this is a fell save thermostat i actually got this in AutoZone. Um, it's not the OEM temperature because the ones that they come it's 180 and then this is off a uh, Integra type R. This is what the Integra type R uses according to their system and what I've researched You can tell when I'm gonna pull it out. It looks pretty pretty identical the only thing is obviously is a little bit uh, Taller and it has that spring on the bottom which you know I try to simulate it with this one to see um, to help me and then this one it's rated for 170 it opens at 170 same as this one right here um, but I did not opt for the OEM temperature opening temperature one which is 180 I opted for the 170 being that that's what I'm usually uh, accustomed to running on the K-Swap and then uh, it's uh, something caught my eye here it's uh, made in Israel everything that I look is usually made in China or elsewhere but this is pretty cool it's made in Israel so let's unbox it and take a look at it 
So this one cost me about $24, which is not bad. And that's usually what it comes up to um, when you look online. And sorry. Um, and then here, as you can tell, um, it literally looks like, I don't want to say identical, but it has the same diameter circumference. So I know once I get the proper O-ring, it's going to bolt up right on it. See, and it has the extra spring in there. Um, so I'm going to try this out, and then hopefully you guys can try it out too. If you are, if you guys have had any fails or have run this and had a lot of issues, I'm going to try this method here. I'm, I'm just taking a shot here. If not, obviously I'm the one losing money, but at least you guys are aware of. Um, and you can try it for yourself uh, to see if the Integra Type R uh, thermostat um, will work for you for you guys and um, oops, sorry so as you can tell um, I did order this um, o-ring here um, apparently fortunately they did not have it in stock so they have to get it from another store so I have to go back and pick it up at a later time but um, she was trying to sell me um, the regular one which you know is supposed to run with this but it's it's kind of bulky and I know it wasn't gonna fit here it's gonna be really really tight and I don't want anything restricting it because I still have to put the retainer um, uh, the retainer uh, clip are, are um, in there, so I order another one of this. Hopefully, it's the same size. But like I said, I ripped this one, um, and pretty much just gonna put it around it, and then it's gonna seal up. Boom, and there, as so you can tell. So I, I tried. That's why um, I brought this one uh, in with me, cause uh, when it sits, you know, against the water pump, uh, the, I mean, thermostat housing itself. Uh, I didn't want it to stick too much because this is how far the uh, OEM one sticks out, and it's 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 pretty on there. So I'm gonna see and try it out, and then if it works for me, that way you guys have a a heads up on what to use and utilize to make this uh, function for you guys. So I'll keep you guys posted um, as soon as I start testing it out. You know how the temperatures do, if, if it works, if it doesn't. If it's a flock, so it, 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 I'm gonna see. I'm a little bit nervous. I really hope it does. I did a little bit of my homework and my research to to see if this upgrade will help out this design. So that way, it's not a hopeless design. Because obviously, even uh, Katun went on to make a version two of this um, to to compensate for all the, the issues that they had. But overall, when I had it, did not leak from you know the basic uh, seal here. It will only leak from these sides, but I mean, I pumped the crap out of it with um, Teflon tape. I even put this fan switch in there to help it, and it actually did. It's just so bulky and it's, it's useless because I am I'm not utilizing this. I'm using the PCM to kick on my radiator fan. But uh, nonetheless, I will be putting Teflon tape on these if I have to. I'll put some RTV or um, Honda Bond or something like that, something like that, and to keep it from leaking. And I do have the AN fitting, which that was a plus for this one because when I bought it. It came with that I believe this was like back then about this like four years ago it was like probably like i think like um as you can tell it's from kate motors kate motorsports but this nonetheless is, is from china and then they just probably put their little logo in there but it's the same thing if you were to get it from amazon ebay um it's just you know now they're way cheaper i see them for like 36 bucks 40 bucks even cheaper uh, but i got this i think for like 70 from them um and they they have like color on the ice one black ones too which are pretty cool but i mean i'm gonna try it out guys wish me luck if it works then i i you know can save you a couple money and you know you know help you guys out with this as well all right so i am running the 2001 integra type r thermostat um, that goes with any Type R uh, DC2. You can use the 94 to 2001. Uh, I got it at AutoZone, but I, I researched the part number. So I am using um, the, it's like a knockoff of the first gen K2 Swivel, the really infamous one for leaking and having all these issues. When I first got it, it had a stain style thermostat and um, it was sticking really bad. So. Um, I know I had issues, you know, with, with the car, you know, like overheating, not, you know, not cooling too much and, you know, not staying up to temp. So what I did was I researched and I found out that uh, Integra Type R thermostat um, is about the same as the stand style. It's just, literally, it's the same identical style. So um, I installed it. I gave it a second chance. So far, fingers crossed, it's been holding. 
every time it um it goes to 185 and starts climbing higher the fan kicks on and it just it just stays really really good i know i still have ear pockets in there um so slowly i'll be bleeding those out since i don't have a vacuum bleeder um so next we'll probably be just jacking up the car nose high again um same thing how i've been doing in the past and see if you know if it'll help me but there you go guys there's a fix for the first gen thermostat i know i've seen a lot of bad reviews i i myself had a bad experience with it but this seems to be working and no so far no leaks thank god and yeah it's it's opening up bottom holes is getting hot so i know it's opening up and i did the three uh one eighth holes well minus the one that i just cut the little rivet in it but yeah so far it's been holding so for you guys that are curious um and you know want to give a second chance or buy one do this and i'm telling you it'll be way better than getting the th the stance all right for, um in this video i'm going to be talking about if you're keeping your heater hose for your case swap you know what to do so essentially here you go um this is from the original chassis from the ed the old engine this one right there is the same that one's actually when it had the bracket and it was on the firewall that's actually that one i just modified it and cut it and then what i did was i flipped it to the other side so you can tell from the screw and i have it engaging like that oops sorry i have it engaging like that and then i pretty much clocked it this way with the side key to side water it allows you to clock it so it, it just helps you a lot better so you can tell it's much far away than before i had it uh, from the headers uh, i can't say the thing i can't say the same about this uh, engine harness uh, but i mean it's still not far it's still not close to it because you don't want it as close um, as possible and then this is from the k-tune universal um like um a kit that brings i just managed to use that but to be honest um you can just go to the junkyard and find um one for this section right here you don't have to do that it'll be a lot cheaper because i believe this kit was like about 50 bucks but that was like three four years ago um but yeah and then i mean it brings this little bracket as well but you can get this separately um and you know run your heater hose but yeah, this is pretty much how it looks. I've seen many ways of doing it. People make their own brackets and stuff like that and get it, have it close to the firewall. And you're going to have to make sure that you got this hard line that runs through the thermostat housing, uh, as you can see in there. And then obviously the other one, the rubber one, um, it runs from the thermostat housing, sorry, um, onto the um, intake manifold and if you have this portion cut off they have the the replacement or the block off whatever they also have it so this is pretty much what you're going to need to have you know inlet outlet or outlet inlet um and then run these accordingly so i just wanted to keep give you guys a heads up so that way you guys are tracking and if you have any questions leave it in the comment let me know thanks for watching